Hi everyone, I thought today I'd show you how to colour these bricks. It's a technique you could also use for stones. Now this is Johanna Basford's book Secret Garden. Now you may have seen this page before. Now these pots here have no, um, no plants in and what I did was I just traced some of the ones from this side and popped them over here and I've just blocked them in green at the moment. This isn't what they're going to finish um, look like when they're finished. It was just so that I could then work on the background so I blocked in this foreground first and uh, then I drew the brick wall. Now it's very simple, just use a ruler to draw the lines across and I did them all the way across the page as you can see and then do the downward bricks at, at sort of uneven intervals and then you can see on this page what I haven't coloured them in so I just blocked this in darker and I used um, my uh, my Faber-Castell um, Polychromos pencil which was the um, Payne's Grey I don't want to, didn't want to use the black I wanted to use the grey just so it wasn't quite so dark now for colouring the actual stones, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, so forgive me while I just zoom the camera in and get us in the right position. Oops, sorry. There we go. And I will show you uh, exactly what I have been doing. Now, I've been using my Derwent Lightfast pencil, so there's the Payne's Grey. And what I do is I take a selection of different colours. So I've got, I'll show you the ends, it's a bit easier. So I've got some lighter ones and some of these two are black. Um, and there's some lighter ones as well. And I tend to like the browner shades of grey here. Now in Prismas I think there are some French greys which would work really well. And in Polychromos there's the warm greys. I'm purely using the Derwent Lightfast because they go down so easily so you don't need so many layers of colour so it just makes it much quicker and when you're doing a background you really do want it to be very fast. So I'm just going to show you how I do one of these. Now if I just push the book across you can see the other ones, you can see they're not all identical, you see this one's a little bit darker, a little bit bluer, I used a little bit of the uh, midnight black on that one and then these aren't all exactly the same shade so I try and make them slightly different. So what I do is I start with my darkest colour that I want to use for that stone. Sometimes I start with a black, sometimes I start with a grey. I'm going to use the granite for this one just to show you. And I'm going to probably pick one that hasn't got too many plants in, which will make it a little bit easier for me. Um, bear with me. Sorry, I don't know. That. Oh, hang on. I think there's one. Mm, this one here I think I'm going to use here. So what I do to start with is just go around the edge in the darkest colour and fade it down towards the centre of the stone. I do that all the way around and it doesn't need to be too even or too, um, you don't need to worry too much about it because I'm going to go over it with the other greys. However try, try to start it a little bit lighter so you want to sort of blend it in a little bit. Don't want sort of scratchy jagged lines unless that's the effect you're going for. So there's that dark grey. And then I'll go for a slightly lighter one. So I'll probably go for this one, the warm grey. There we go. And then go just inside. So I go over the top of the bit I've done already and darken it up. You can see that starting to darken hopefully. And then down this side cross and around and just like the other one start to fade it going towards the middle and then I'm just going to do my final one in this fossil grey colour now I do have a lighter one as well which I could use but I can, I'm aware it's probably not showing up too much so I'm not going to go really light on this one and then do a final layer now what you can do is you can fiddle around with this as much as you like once you've got those layers on. So I'm going to go back around the edges a bit more and uh, it does darken them up a little bit and bring them in towards the middle. But you can do whatever you wish. And when I finished the whole of this side, what I did was I went back over all these, these bits, these dark bits in between and went back over them to redefine them. So on this side, 
I've gone back over them and made them a bit darker. But you see how these lines are now quite wobbly? When I first drew them, I drew them with a ruler, but I purposely don't want them to look exactly straight because that isn't very realistic. So I go over it freehand and it looks a little bit wobbly and messy because I can't draw a very straight line. And uh, it looks like that bit needs going over a little bit more, you can see. So, uh, so that gives it a bit more of a natural look. So you can use this to do um, stones as well as stone walls and then if you want to you do it for bricks you could do it in different um, different shades of sort of browny reds so you can have a go at doing that hopefully that helps you a little bit and you can uh, you can have some fun with having a go yourself thank you